Flectere sineque superos, acheronta movebo. If I cannot deflect the superiors, I shall move the acheron. The superiors are the gods, the authorities, the institutions. The acheron in Greek mythology was the river of the underworld, but it was often mentioned to refer to the underworld in general. So, the original Latin phrase can also be translated as If I cannot deflect the heavens, then I shall raise hell. By using this phrase on the epitaph of his book, The Interpretation of Dreams, Freud wanted to point out that to implement a radical change in ourselves, we must dare to explore and disturb the deep waters of our subconscious. The original sentence is derived from the Latin poem The Innate, written by the poet Virgil around 20 BC. In a passage, Virgil describes the rage of the goddess Juno. Being disappointed in the reality that she witnesses, she decides not to sit by and do nothing, but to take matters into her own hands and attempt to change the course of events. The tragedy lies in the fact that she knows that her actions will not succeed, but she will try anyway. Thus, she states her intentions with the iconic declaration Flectere sineque o superos, acheronta movebo. The whole sentence, but especially these last two words, can thus stand as a motto for any radical revolution. And like Juno, we are all subjected to higher authorities who want us to abide to their rules. And if you cannot bend the will of the authorities governing your world, if you cannot get their attentions, if your appeals to participate in their game are not answered, then you must take matters into your own hands. Come up with your own game. But before engaging in ambitious revolutionary practices, my proposal suggests more modest beginnings. Let's start symbolically by shuffling and disrupting the order of the very letters that form the motto itself. Letters are the singular cell elements onto which our linguistic system is built. They are the building blocks that sustain the logic of our thought processes and mental models. And it is these models that we need to start questioning. Like in the chaos theory, where a butterfly flapping its wings on one side of the world can cause a hurricane on the other side, revolutions start small, inside us. And to help you train your disruptive mindset and vision, I have produced a limited edition of this puzzle. So, if you want one for yourself to remind you of your own revolutionary ambitions, while playfully indulging in the dichotomy of order and disorder, check the link in the description below to see where you can get one. Thank you for your endless support.